Hi, welcome to your August Market Insights. Today I'm addressing the question I've been getting the past three weeks around a tsunami of foreclosures this fall. Foreclosures come as a result of the borrower not being able to make their monthly mortgage payment in excess of four months, during which time the lender stays in very close contact with the borrower to let them know they will be beginning the foreclosure process. And this means they will be selling the house in a trustee sale to a trustee to handle the completion of the sale. Now, from my perspective of total daily involvement in the current market, there are two reasons we won't see a rush of foreclosures this fall. Now, the health crisis we face as a country has led businesses all over the nation to reduce or discontinue their services. This pause in the economy has greatly impacted the workforce, and as a result, many people have been laid off or furloughed. Now, naturally, that would lead many to believe we might see a rush of foreclosures like we saw in 2008. The market today, however, is very, very different from 2008. The concern of more foreclosures based on those that are out of work is one that we need to understand fully. And there are two reasons I believe we won't see a rush of foreclosures this fall. One is forbearance extension options, and the other is strong homeowner equity. So let's begin with forbearance extension options. Now forbearance, according to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or the CFPB, is when your mortgage servicer or your lender allows you to temporarily pay your mortgage at a lower payment or just pause paying your mortgage. This is an option for those who need immediate relief. In today's economy, the CFPB has given homeowners a way to extend their forbearance, which will greatly assist those families who need it at this critical time. Now, under the CARES Act, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or the CFPB, notes that if you experience financial hardship due to the coronavirus pandemic, you have a right to request and obtain a forbearance for up to 180 days. That's six months. And you also have the right to request and obtain an extension for up to another 180 days for a total of 360 days. That's one year. The second reason this uh, of uh, is a strong homeowner equity that I mentioned earlier. And equity is also working in favor of today's homeowners. This savings is another reason why we won't see, in my opinion, the substantial foreclosures in the near future. Today's homeowners are, who are in forbearance actually have more equity in their homes than what the market experienced in 2008. The mortgage monitor report from Black Knight, see that chart there, indicates that all active forbearances, which are past due on their mortgage payment, 77% have at least 20% equity in their homes. That's amazing. This high level of equity provides options, both for the homeowners, for the policymakers, and for the mortgage investors and servicers to help avoid a downstream foreclosure activity and any type of default losses. That's right from Black Knight. Now the bottom line is, many think we may see a rush of foreclosures this fall, but the facts just don't add up to this case. You might remember other predictions on unemployment rates and the fall of the real estate markets that we've addressed in the last few months in our, uh, our market insights. Today's real estate market is very, very different from 2008 when we saw many homeowners just walk away when they owed more than their homes were worth. This time, equity is stronger and plans are in place to help those that are affected most dramatically to weather the storm. Now on the local front, 
the real in real estate is continued need for inventory and a high feverish search journey by buyers who are looking for their home in a market that gives them extraordinary buying power with the off the chart low interest rates, which are in the threes right now. And the desire for many in the high dense areas of LA and Orange County to move out to less densely populated areas in the Inland Empire and the high desert. So for you contemplating selling, know that the values have gone up just from May to June this year, 4.6%, which is an amazing month to month increase. And on homes sold in June 2020 compared to June 2019, the increase is 6.5%. You may or may not remember that my forecast last fall for 2020 increase was 2.5 to 4% for the year. As you can see from the inventory chart, the months of inventory dropped to 1.2 months to the end of June or 60% less than what was available at this time last year. So reach out to get tips and guidance as you contemplate moving on to your next destination, either in California or beyond, to make that transition with more clarity, with more ease, and with more peace. And give a thumbs up if this was helpful. Share with a friend who is looking for accurate information as they sift through information overload and conflicting opinions for many not actually involved in the day-to-day -day activities. And I'll see you next time.